Hi there, Aquarius. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Anissa from the Inner Sea Rio. This is going to be your love messages. It's a general reading, so the roles might get reversed, or it may or may not resonate with you. And if this reading resonates with you, there's going to be a link down in the description box below for personal reading with me, okay? So in this reading, Aquarius, it's going to be a you versus them format. We're going to be looking at your energy, past, present, future from both parties, and we're going to clarify them. And I'm also going to be pulling some advice card for you by the end of the session, okay? Okay, let's talk Aquarius. So you got the four of wands and also the three of swords in upright position in the past. From this person's side, they have the page of swords and they also have the queen of swords in upright position in the past. In the past, I feel that if it was kind of like quite dramatic the way that I'm feeling right now when it comes to reading this energy because there's going to be some point in time where you feel very very static about this connection where you felt that well like I found some joy I found some happiness in here I believe that this is something worth celebrating I feel that this is something that you know I've been looking for and everything like that but then there are other times where you feel I don't know like it's actually hurtful I don't know which feelings should I feel I don't know what to believe i don't know what to trust that's the way that i'm interpreting the energy around here from this person's side they have the page of swords and also the queen of swords i feel that you're dealing with somebody here who thinks more than they feel okay you see this queen of swords in this deck of mine yeah the cups is being put behind the bar in a way that this person doesn't really decide on something based off of their emotions. It's not just because I have feelings for somebody, just because I love somebody, doesn't necessarily mean that I am going to do something or I'm going to take actions because of my emotions. I got to think things through. They have a very specific thing that they're looking for in everything in this in their life and i feel that this person in the past was really really studying you was trying to gather up some sort of informations about you so that they could decide whether they want to take a giant leap leap of faith over it or not this is a type of person who do like some sort of safety and security but it's very specific on what type of safety and security that i want i'm going to give you an example sometimes these kind of cards the combinations of these cards is like I want somebody who could provide me this because with this, it's going to make me feel safe. It's going to make me feel, okay, I could trust it, but the, the process, and it's not that everyone has specifically what they want, you know what I mean? You could have a bit of that and you could have, a, a, don't have a bit of what they wanted and everything like that. So in a way that it's very different by you because you believed in it, right? It, it is something that... Um, you enjoy you like the fact that they were trying to ask you questions about your life you like the fact that they were being a bit curious about your life about everything like that but you still sense a bit of a coldness from them you still sense that you know this person is actually not in a stage or not in a page where i want them to be they're not on a page that is on my level now in the present moment you have the ten of cups and you also have the four of pentacles from their side, they have the Two of Swords, and they also have the Seven of Swords. We're going to clarify in a moment what the Seven of Swords is all about. But I feel that, you know, from this, from your perspective, again, you believed in this very, very much so. But you're starting to be aware, and you're starting to understand the fact that, hmm, I feel that where I'm at in comparison to where they're at is not similar. So I would rather just withdraw my energy and be on the same page as they are in terms of, you know, investing, in terms of taking actions, in terms of communicating and etc. I'd rather be on the same page as they are. Now, I feel that this person, person, I'm sorry, in this present moment isn't, again, they still not have yet decided on what they want out of this connection. Um, they're still undecided, but there's something about them. Once you start withdrawing your energy, there's something about them um, that gets a bit curious. We're going to clarify in a moment. 
Now, from your side, you have the Two of Pentacles and you also have the Six of Wands in upright position. I see the progressions of energy from you from the past, present, and the future. Or I do see the progressions of it being like it was painful and then you were able to contain it. You're able to deprioritize your life and in the future, all those things are not really okay with you in the inside, on the inside. But you would still find ways for you to feel happy by yourself. Now, in there is a sense of something here that is going to shock this person, but we're going to clarify in a moment, okay? So now let's just clarify your reading here, um, Aquarius. You just want to leave peacefully, even if you're having a conflict with somebody. You just want to get out of the conflict. You want to get out of the petty games. You just want to get out. You just want peace. You just want peace. And do you still believe in this connection? I feel that you do. Now, logically speaking and practically speaking, did you see the value in you? So, you know, there are kind of people who uh, would decide on falling for somebody because of, you know, the chemistry or because of how they feel for the other person. There's people who like somebody because, wow, like, I'm a family person, you're a family person, we could match really, really well. So it's about the values or the principles that the other person has that attract us to them. Now, when it comes to them, there is a certain principles or values that you actually have that fit them, that is something that they're looking for. But again, with that, even, it's not enough to convince them that, you know, Aquarius is a safe choice for me. Aquarius is then going to be something that I decide to be fully engage in or to be fully you know there with Aquarius even with that they're not feeling secure enough so I feel that in this present moment Aquarius especially in Sagittarius season you're not really going to be thinking much about love, but you're actually going to be thinking much more about your career, about your finances. And there's something about you wanting, there's a hunger or there is a thirst for you to be absorbing new knowledge. So you would find yourself, especially in Sagittarius season, to want to either enroll in a seminar or wanting to go to a university or uh, a workshop or wanting to buy some books or wanting to just absorb as many knowledge as possible because you have this thirst of knowledge or I, you know right now i feel empty i gotta study something i gotta learn something i gotta add some new informations in my head because you know there, there's there's this thirst and hunger for knowledge in the present moment now seven of swords clarified by the hermit the four of pentacles and also the queen of swords in upright position there's so many things that this person is hiding at this present moment to you okay and they're aware of the fact that you are wanting to have some sort of clarity when it comes to that matter but they are deliberately not giving it to you because they're still wanting to have some sort of inner conversation within themselves whether or not the clarity or informations or confirmations that you guys are looking for from them is it actually going to be beneficial for them if they were to be giving to you so there is a bit of like, okay, if I were to be giving clarity towards Aquarius, would that actually benefit me? Would that actually benefit my positions in um, Aquarius life or Aquarius priority, whatever, or will it not? Because, yeah. 
Let's clarify the future. Oh yeah, we didn't talk about your challenges here, yeah, uh, Aquarius. Six of Swords in reverse, and also the Six of Pentacles. Interesting. You're investing into something that makes sure that you're staying in that position. Let's see your challenges. I forgot to mention it in the beginning of the reading. But there's something about you investing into something that makes you stuck in that position. So this could be about your love and relationship. You're, you're deliberately... Um, doing certain type of stuff in your day-to-day -day life that makes you stuck. Or if this is career, there's something here that you deliberately do in order to make you just be in that place, just right there, okay? Something that you need to be aware of and it's something that you need to take notice of. Now, let's talk about this person, Ace of Wands, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, the Two of Cups, and also the Seven of Swords. I don't know. It's such an avoidant energy. It's such somebody who just doesn't want to touch feelings or emotions. Somebody who deliberately doesn't want it. Although this person knows full well that that is something that you want. This connection has the potentials and they agree one on that where it is, it has the potentials for it to expand. If the control issue is being released from this connection and letting go of the control and let universe decide where this connection could bring both of you, it is has the potentials to expand. But one thing that makes it difficult is that this person is making it hard to do that so because one, they don't want to feel, they don't want to be dealing with emotions. And second of all, I don't know why it is, but there's something about them. It's like, you know, when you love somebody, when you have feelings for somebody, they would make sure that you're happy. Yeah. There's something about them giving, deliberately giving you half of that happiness. So half that they give you is enough to get you hooked. And half of it that they don't give you is enough to make you go crazy and obsessive. And it's something that is done deliberately. Aquarius. Okay, I'm going to give Aquarius, and this could also indicate a bit of a breadcrumbing activity where it's like, okay, you know, um, doing this for a while, and then I'm going to pull back away my energy. So it's just something that is just, it's deliberate, it's a bit manipulative, I would say. Now, there is some point in time here, Aquarius, and I feel that the energy has been accumulating since Scorpio season. So we're talking about last month <coughs> where, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> little by little, you're going to be at a place where you're no longer emotionally attached to this person because of the distrust that you feel towards this person. Okay. The idea of this. This what still haunts you, the Ten of Pentacles. The idea of, you know, me and them, we could actually be building on this. The relationship was always something that gives you like a lot of headache. And the more traumatized, the more hurt, the more pain that you experience out of this connection, it kind of like gives a completely reverse effect on what they're expecting, you know. I think they're expecting you to give in. Whereas the effect of all of these headache and mental entrapment that you have been experiencing is actually making you have your guards up, is making you feel a bit distrustful towards them. And you would have a hard time of actually letting this person in once and for all. I feel that in the future, this person is going to be extremely shocked by the way that they could no longer control the situations any longer. Because... In the past, present, 
moment there's still this smugness that i'm sensing about like aquarius is still going to be there regardless of what i put aquarius through aquarius is still going to be there i believe that aquarius is still there but they are going to have a very rude awakening in the future when they're realizing that you know what aquarius is no longer there and that's when we see you know a shocking revelations from them a rude awakening from them and the fact that they have missed an opportunity, that realization, we are going to see that in the future when it's no longer there. So because you, your absence is going to be felt, your withdrawal is actually going to be felt, Aquarius. Oops. The full card, three of wands, and also the eight of swords in that right position. You've made uh, hasty decisions already when it comes to this thing. You took a giant leap of fate towards something that, whoops, turns out it was dangerous. Whoops, turns out it wasn't something that I should take a giant leap of fate with. Now, instead of staying there and being depressed and being like, how can I make, you know, the things that I leapt in to be heavenly for me instead of doing so, how about you just take a lessons out of it? Because I noticed this, you know, I've been doing thousands of personal readings and I noticed that, you know, when people know that they fell into traps of bad decisions, instead of, you know, taking lessons out of it and getting out of it quickly, finding a route to get out of it, they just like, no, I got to make sure that this thing that I took a giant clip of faith win with, I'm going to make sure that this is now what I want. No, even in trading, you would cut your losses. So cut your losses and learn from it. Take lessons out of it. And start being grateful with the little things that you have in life. Smell the flowers. When you wake up in the morning and you see the sun being beautiful, you'd say, wow, like this is so good. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. This is so beautiful. Start being grateful for the little things and you would start feeling that your mind shift is sorry, your mindset is actually going to be shifting. Now, three of wands, eight of swords strategize yourself on getting out of the mental entrapment that you've been in because this is it is a very very <clears throat> evident in your challenges as well where you keep on investing into something that keeps you stuck okay if you can't help yourself then maybe you should ask for some support or some help what i mean to say is that don't isolate yourself aquarius okay seek help Share your story to the people that cares about you. Talk to your support system. Talk to your family about that. If they know your situations, they're probably going to be doing little things. Again, things. Uh, life is not about big things, right? It's always about the little things. And sometimes when, it, when, when we go 180 miles per hour, we don't notice the beautiful things that are in these little things. These people are actually going to give you like little things in order for you to feed, to switch that mindset of yours. If you don't have that support system, then maybe try to see some help from like a psychologist, from a shrink. If you have been in a very, very physically abusive relationship, then maybe seek help from your lawyer or from your police department, but try to seek help. Try to get out there and try to seek help. You... I understand that we live in this world, you know, we were born alone and we're going to die alone. I understand. But human being, we are social creatures and we do need help from other people. It's okay to seek help. It's okay to share our stories. It's okay. Okay? So I think that is it for writing for you here, Aquarius. I hope that you find tons and tons of clarity that you guys have been looking for. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week for another weekly reading. All right, bye-bye, guys. Have a great day. I love you.